Chatvis warriors. I should stay out of sight. Once this land is under Kyokve's lash, we will live like yours. It will not happen like you. I split you! Clash of iron. There is fighting nearby. Dag, you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Chotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he'll regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davos Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship. You glory hound. You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I'll meet you by the ship. Chotvis warriors crawl through Arval's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. What do you see, Sunan? should be inside. Must be black from the other side. Yeah! 
You coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Meet your fate. I will sell you to hell herself! <laughs> Kneel, Wolfkist. I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! Die, you suck of shit! <laughs> Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Then it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! What? Oh, yes, of course. Well, case, even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not.
Need to get on the other side. <gasps> suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit. I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cut this men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. 
This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Styrbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I am right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. We attacked Jotbe's fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? There's a skull who dares sing that verse. It'll be his last song. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Ranvi. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kjotve's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh, after so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters. It stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. Since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Volka. She could help me make sense of my... My feelings. Yes. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know 